Good day. Uh, this is my second introduction, uh, the first one I've deleted, but um, to a new video series I'm doing. Uh, my name is Steve, also known as Nodeg. Um, I've been playing around with game dev for a few years now. Uh, I've used Unity and Game Maker Studio and Godot. Um, I've been using Godot for uh, about a year and a half, maybe a little longer. I have most notably uh, created a card tools uh, repo on GitHub that was designed to be used to make pretty much any card game uh, that you can imagine. Um, but ultimately, uh, due to the scope at the time, I was concentrating mostly on games like Slay the Spire, uh, even Hearthstone games that generally have one player that's manipulating the cards. Um, I think overall between what I discovered through my own research and feedback from the community, I made a pretty solid group of code for this project. And I think I have a pretty good understanding of how to implement uh, card-like mechanics in games. So what I want to develop uh, during this tutorial is a card game that is a combination of poker and the child game War. Um, it looks something like this when it's done. This is one that I made for a game jam that I never completed. Um, ultimately, both players will face off uh, with a Texas Hold'em hand plus one card, so three whole cards. They will play each round one card at the start of the flop, turn, and river, which, which are the three reveals of the table. Uh, and any time uh, during the flop, turn, or river, everybody will play a war card. And um, whoever wins the war round gets to keep their life, and whoever loses, loses one health. If uh, you make it to the showdown, then a, the best poker card made with your two whole cards, which is what you would have at the end of the river, plus any of the any three of the five cards in the middle, or I should say the best combination between those two cards and the five cards on the table, um, and that person wins the round. Um, I'm expecting to release these videos approximately once a week. Uh, I may slow down as we get later into the project. The reason why I created this tutorial series is because there's a lack of documentation for some of the things needed to implement this type of project. And there's also a lack of educational material out there for making projects like card games and puzzle games. Um, one notable exception I should say to that is the Candy Crush Match 3 uh, tutorial series by um, Mr. Taft, uh, which is also a really good example of, of this type of project, but uh, isn't really specific to card games. And I think that I'm bringing a lot to the table with my knowledge of how card games work. Um, so the way we're going to go through this project is first we're going to work on the card framework which is um, my specialty or what i've spent the most time learning during my godot experience this will be the smoothest butter and probably the most interesting part for for the widest amount of audience from beginner to uh, intermediate godot user after that we'll develop a um, hand assessor that won't necessarily be the most elegant. Uh, poker hand assessors have been a topic of computer science for quite a while. And there are some very efficient, very lightweight ways to do this. Um, but one, they would be overkill for this project since we don't have a need to calculate uh, millions of hands in a short amount of time. Uh, and to the implementation would probably require um, some pretty advanced stuff 
to in order to use uh, hash tables and stuff like that. Um, so ours is going to be more rudimentary using iterative loops. After that, we're going to uh, develop the project so it has a rudimentary AI. The first AI opponent will probably do something very simple, like always play the high card for war, the highest card that they have available. And after that, we'll try to develop an AI that does a little bit more hand analysis and deciding which hand to play for war and which hand to keep. Um, and ultimately, the, the game loop, the fourth part that I mentioned in here, uh, will probably be developed throughout the other three, but it'll go through a basic game loop uh, using a state machine in order to control a card type game. So uh, if any of that sounds interesting, I hope that you will follow the series and maybe consider subscribing. And I hope you guys enjoy it.